Hi, this is Joanna from Joanna Salon. So today I have extensions on. Um, I love extensions for you. Those of you who follow me on social media, I've been wearing extensions for a very long time and now that I my hair has gotten um, to a level 10 blonde, um, it's hard to get the extensions to match my hair because I usually buy them and color them myself because I don't like to pay. But in this case, um, I went with the trend and the hype of Bellamy hair. So these are Bellamy extensions and they're in the color 613. Basically, they are a platinum blonde. And this is what they look like. And these are the 20 inch and uh, 160 grams. So um, this hair is like the best hair that I have experienced. I have bought hair from China. I have bought hair from several online retailers. I'm not going to say the name. But this company, and I bought this hair. I paid okay so it's not it's not sponsored or it wasn't given to me but i will tell you this um i just redid my roots and i did more blonde um just to give it more of an ombre effect and before i had uh, about an inch and a half to two inches of brownish um uh, roots so I basically wanted to color these extensions to match my roots and I'm gonna tell you this trial and error I put in so much color in this hair I will show you um, a piece that I didn't put in and this is what I did to them the extensions came in this color right here complete uh, 613 and I did the darker roots I did sort of a balayage effect on them um, to all all the clip clip-ins right so with trial and error, I had put in a darker color than what my hair was, and then I tried to fix it, and then I tried to put in another color, and I put in like four colors, and the hair withstood all those processes I was doing. The last thing I did, which was today, because I had done this yesterday, I redid my roots, um, I put bleach on, on the color that I had put in because I just needed to get rid of some of it and just leave maybe this much of the roots in this one i left it that color because i'm gonna be putting those in the bottom which my hair is uh my roots and my bottom is uh more than on my top so basically um this hair is like really really good and um it the only the only thing that i would say it sheds a lot every time i comb the hair it sheds it's not like a lot a lot but it's noticeable it's not like one or two strands it's like a lot of strands and that's the only thing I don't like about them besides that um, they they did withhold all the processes that I put on them so now my video today about Bellamy um, hair extensions I'm sorry this is not platinum this is beach blonde I'm sorry it's bleach blonde I just looked down and it, it's not platinum it's beach blonde so basically this is my hair right here and it comes up to here so today's video is, is how to cut your own extensions by yourself so everybody knows how to clip in extensions you tease your root and you clip them in basically that's it now when you're gonna cut your extensions the way the cut that I'm gonna do today is a layered cut so you have to remember in the placement that you put your wefts so for example once you take them out make sure that you lay them in a way where you're going to put them right back in the same order so that the layers can flow the same way how you're cutting them um that's basically all i want to say about that so i'm going to show you guys how to cut your own extensions yes so the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your scissors um and your comb so this is the scissors and comb since this hair is very long i'm going to stand up for this um, I use a wet brush for all, this is, see, it sheds a lot. This is the comb that I usually use for my hair extensions. So just comb the hair out and make sure there's no snags on it. 
keep in mind to hold your wefts in your hair so we're gonna be using the wet brush and also we're gonna be using a cutting comb like this so basically there's several ways that you can um, cut your hair into layers if you want to keep the length what I suggest is you know uh, part it in two and wherever your hair ends you would slice the front into layers just the front section that way you can keep uh, your length on the hair the next way is that you can pull the hair completely completely up as far as you can go or as far as you want it because you can also you can also pull it down like this and wherever your uh, hair basically ends just pull it up a little bit more and then you can cut just right there and that will give you long layers the other way is if you want to keep length but you want short layers on the front is you would pull all the hair completely to the front completely straight out and that will give you long layers for the back and it will give you short layers for the front so what I'm going to do today is basically I'm going to do a combination I'm going to do a front layering and I'm also going to be doing the long layering because I do want to keep some length but not all because I want it to be more natural looking um, and also uh, just layer it up so it can match where my hair um, stops so let's get started so we already brushed our hair out and I'm going to start by just gently pulling it forward and you want to do when you have hair extensions that are this long you want to do it gently and by sections so you're gonna do you're gonna do sort of like a ponytail Make sure your hair is nice and straight. So for me, what I'm gonna do is, I'm my own hair is gonna be my guide because I want it to be more natural looking. Um, my hair wherever my hair ends okay my hair ends right there okay so i'm just gonna pull about an inch more and this is where i'm cutting okay guys now you want to hold your scissor and i can't see <laughs> but i know you guys can see me basically hold your scissors like this your ring finger goes there and then your pinky there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a straight cut. Now, Keep the hair in your hand because now we're gonna feather that cut. You don't want that. You, <laughs> I feel like I feel like I will have like a, a something, a hood or something on my head. But it's that this is a lot of hair. So basically, keeping your your hair the hair in your hands. Now we're gonna do some point cutting just to feather that look up, to feather that blunt cut. I'm sorry, feather that that blunt cut. So it's not so straight. So just cut into the ends, just like this. And that's gonna give that nice feathered look. Make sure you get all the hair out. And now we let it go. And this is what it looks like. Basically, now you have layers. Let me lower the camera so you guys can see. So 
so this is what the layers look like so you still have some length and you cut in layers into that so now like I said we are going to so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna part in the middle and bring all our hair forward okay comb it out make sure there's no hairs on you you comb it out I feel like a Barbie today with this lipstick and this um, <laughs> this blonde hair but it's summer so this is what we want okay so now so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our comb and grab our hair and make sure that everything is nice and even so you see how you have one section here and then you have that long section so we're going to basically cut just to angle it and th this is the only downside to having um, extensions that are so expensive because um, you have to cut a lot to You have to cut a lot to be able to, you know, blend it in with your hair. That down. So basically that's it for that. Now you can take the whole section and pull it outward like this. And just make sure that this section right here is nice and even. See how it's not even? Now we have to just feather, feather that out by point cutting. Okay. And you don't have to worry about it not being perfect because normally you you're going to be um, making waves and making curls so these cuts don't really um, show up as much so as you can see I cut this side this is where my hair ends right here so I just did some layering right there so this whole piece has to go so again we're gonna do the same thing just hold the piece well, hold your section Joanna hold your section and just make sure that it's even now we're gonna pull the whole section outward like this and just feather feather it out it wasn't a lot but still have to make it even still a little little bit left just on this section right here You have to be very careful when you cut it when you're cutting your hair yourself, uh, because some scissors, especially when you're point cu cutting, I've gotten cut so many times with this scissor because the points are very very sharp. So please be careful. So guys, this is basically a layered cut. Now I'm going to be doing the front. Remember I said uh, we're going to be doing two types. So basically from your ear. Just take this section, this front section, and wherever your hair ends, now we're just gonna we're just gonna do some slicing right in there. Just to even it out a bit. There you go. It wasn't a lot. I'm going to do the same for this one. 
just because I have a little bit of hair there that I don't want to to show. The key is to blend, just blend. Okay, so that's that side. Now we're gonna do this side. Same thing. Just grab this section. Wherever your hair ends, be sure not to cut your hair and just slice it. And that's it. That's it for a layer cut. I took off about four inches. So I'm 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 probably at, at about 18. Um the the last weft on the bottom I'm, I'm at about an 18 and then it goes up to a 16 and a 14 from 20 inches because i feel like it was too long um to make it blend with my hair and i like a more natural looking um extension so this is basically what we cut off and that's the only downside that i think um with hair extension companies that you know a lot of people don't want to have 20 22 inches of hair we just want to you know fullness and we want it to be more natural looking like my hair in itself is about 14 inches so i would need 16 and 18 not a necessarily a 22 inch so you still have to cut and then you, essentially you're paying for that so guys i'm now going to curl my hair and i'll be back and i hope you enjoyed this video Okay guys, so I have curled my whole head and basically this is the end result. Doesn't this hair look fabulous? Um, I am in love with it. Now the front, all you have to do is just, your hair just, maybe with the flat iron. Just give it a little bump at the end so it can go into that curl right there. I don't like to start these curls too up there because I want it's my hair to blend. And if you start curling your own hair, then those frizzy ends are going to actually stick out and it won't blend well. So for the curls to actually stay nice and pretty um when you take your hair extensions out and you put them back in you don't want to always be uh curling your hair so i'm going to be using the perfectly undone uh brushable hold hairspray by tresemme and i like this hairspray because it's a very light finish but it still gives you that hold that you're looking for so basically just fluff up the hair and lightly spray like this Just to give you some volume. And don't spray too much. You don't want these extensions to get, you know, like dirty and stuff. So this is the end result of, on how to basically cut your own hair. And I curled it just so you guys can see. The cut does not have to be perfect. And you're not going to get a perfect cut. That's just honestly, I, I am a professional and I can't get a perfect cut because it's, you know, your angle and you can't see the back of your head. But just try the best you can to make it nice and even as much as you can. And, you know, it will work out. Once you curl the hair, you can't even tell. So, I will be posting pictures of this look on my Instagram. So, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And also, follow me on Facebook. I have channels all over. Um, also, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being patient with me and actually liking and sharing my videos. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Um... I'm here to stay, so I'm going to be bringing you more and more tutorials, so stay tuned for that. And please share this video with your friends so they can also come on board and support this channel. So 
you know it encourages me to do more and I see that people actually like what I do so please you know um, to share uh, share the love share the love <laughs> subscribe and like bye see you in the next video